Hey, this is K9, or one of the many manifestations I've had of K9 over the early uh, access introduction of this game called Conan Exiles. And here at twilight, uh, with the sky and the sun just coming up, and the uh, torches lighting my recent uh, building project uh, looks pretty good. So let's take a let's take a quick tour. I did a couple of different things with uh, with octagon buildings that uh, you might find interesting. So uh, let me just add to my topic, uh, building on a different on a different plane this time around. So I came up here. I am directly across from the hand. I'm now on a multiplayer server. Uh, I'm directly across from the hand and somebody's building on that uh, little peninsula uh, and we've got other other people building around in close proximity and if you'll notice that uh, I placed a sign here when I first started playing uh, on the multiplayer server the uh, people that I met are, are really friendly so it's a it's a nice group and uh, we've got a, a discord um, channel and whatnot we chat and whatnot but um, I didn't have I didn't have any thralls for the longest time, so I just put these signs up because I, I started putting uh, guards up. I don't want somebody showing up to check out what I'm doing and not realize that they might get shot at, so I put up some signs. I got myself a couple wheels of pain, the the uh, lesser wheel of pain, uh, which I haven't even actually used. I was actually able to build the, uh, the wheel of pain, which you can put four thralls in for training. I've got uh, the initial Shrine of Mitra, which you can build a couple of things. Haven't really gotten to the point where uh, I built the upgrade, but uh, it takes it takes some it takes some decent uh, materials, and I've I've actually got them. But it's just uh, I haven't felt the need to actually um, put them to use yet. So I start I came up here uh, when I first settled, and I started with like I usually do. A, a house that is six by six very quickly added to it and made it three by four three by five so the bottom the bottom here isn't bad but this is one of the ideas I came up with recently is just using a, a couple of doorways and a bonfire to you know make a make a fireplace yeah why not bonfires threw off a lot of light and you can cook in them so uh, I just decided to make a place to have it indoors. Still haven't made myself a bed yet, even though I do have the recipe. This is another development I've uh, had recently, is that on this door, I had the door that goes into the corner, and I built out from the original building to make the interior a little bit larger. But I put two more doors on here as an entryway, and I didn't actually put a door on them. They just lead into here. But the thing that I did inside was I put the stairs up to the top of the door and then made the turn up to the second level so that I could have a double high ceiling in my living area, which um, I know if you've ever built anything. If you've got a single uh, story uh, ceiling right above your head, I get claustrophobic. I don't like that at all. So I don't have any furniture yet, but the uh, the buildings are pretty much laid out. So I've got uh, a little area out here, and I'm, I'm fond of actually building out over the building itself to have a balcony, which I do on occasion. See, the building's that size, but the balcony is out one or two squares beyond it. I've got myself uh, a very tightly packed um, crafting area where I actually started with the furnaces here and here that go around the corner of the building, lead into this area very tightly. Here's some wood, carpenter's bench. In fact, I don't think I've turned this on today, so let me do that. Get some wood going. I think I've got some, uh, yeah, they, they've already done that. So let's, uh, let's turn these on. Good idea for your carpenter's bench when you're doing the iron reinforcements and the steel reinforcements. Uh, they take a while, so... Uh, it's good to have more than one bench. It's also good to have them constantly running, unless you're, you want to build something else. The tannery, I only have one of. The uh, fireball cauldron, now that I'm trying to make uh, dyes and things like that every now, now and then, um, I don't mind having two of those. I don't often use it, but I don't mind having two of them. So let's go in, go up to the other octagon buildings. And like I said, I like this idea of incorporating the door as the landing on top of uh, the first flight of stairs that go up to the double high ceiling to the second floor. I found that was very useful and used it also in the octagon building. So I came up here and there was a shelf above my building and I said let's put something up there and I went ahead and, and 
did a octagon with one row to the outside to the outside wall as an entryway and then threw some columns up around it to support a larger structure on the top. Let's go take a look at that. So here's an entryway. Take a look at this building and we'll take you out the back way. And I started putting the columns to support the structure and notice that that column down on the bottom floor is directly under the same panel of the column there which I find uh, adds structural integrity to what I'm doing. So the, so the column runs throughout the, the floors all the way up the top of the building, which tends to add uh, strength. So you come up to this side, and I've got, again, the stairwell, which I've covered in other videos, up the exterior of the building up to another floor. And I have used the space underneath the stairwell so far to put a place to hold you know more materials. I put my uh, my manufactured stuff up here kinda out of the way. Uh, not that I live on a PVP server and that anyone's gonna come in and break in and take anything because people on the server are pretty cool but uh, they're kinda out of the way. This one you can consider that you know with a ventilation window a water closet or something like that. <laughs> WC. And if you live in the Americas, bathroom. Uh, I put a um, a balcony on each floor, but let's take a look at the floors first. Again, there's a there's usable space and a, and a door underneath the, the stairs. We get to the top floor, which I'm fond of doing, and the entire thing is open air. And I le left not the Oculus because it is covered, but I did leave it partially open. Light comes through, ventilation comes through, but I do like having that in the middle of my floors to look down through the building. What's really cool, and I'll show you that when I get to, down to the bottom, is looking up through those at the partially obscured uh, rooftop. Uh, this is an idea I borrowed from the other, other buildings I did on, on private servers, is that you get up to the roof and the shade and just made the, the larger area up here a place to walk around for guards and whatnot. So I, I liked that idea, so I did it again. So as we get uh, through here, notice that the stairwell, this stairwell, is on top of the last stairwell, which I found. And the stairs and the landings and whatnot occupy the, the same squares on each floor. They're kind of a mirror, which I found was kind of uh, economical for how much space you're taking up. So. Here is the simple balcony that is on the upper floor. And of course the floor above this one is all open so I didn't put a balcony on it. I just left it. So this is just for running around for taking taking looks around and stuff like that. But the balcony on the bottom floor is more attached to a living area. And I made it a little bigger with a double entry. This is the only way to get out there. And a left side and a right side. And I'll end up putting some furniture out, out here coffee table, things like that. Don't quite have the uh, the Master Hunter to get the rock beasts up yet, but uh, I think I just dinged, what, 48, 49, 40, 48. And they've got experience on this server set way, way high. So it's like I've had the account open. I've played it. I think this is my fourth day. And uh, everything you do just dings you. It's crazy. But it's not as if I haven't leveled other characters. So so I come up here. This is the first floor on this particular. And I thought I told you I'd show you the Oculus. So when you get over here and you look up, I just like how that looks. I really do. UI is, is turned off and turned on by the Alt-Z key combination. So, let's go downstairs. And, I ah, can't get through that way. That's why I left this fence off, to make sure you can get around things. So if we go out the back door, there's another landing area up here. And I put uh, some places to put guards and archers that would watch the one entrance up here. Okay. The guard that I put here kept wandering off, so I put her somewhere else. There should be still another guard up here. Yeah, he's still there. We got a tier three up there. I think there's a tier two down below. A little worried about them shooting at my neighbors, but no one's complained yet, so I won't move them quite yet. 
and then I put my favorite uh, my favorite round spiral staircase design which is one square two triangles one square two triangles that goes around very tightly around one isosceles triangle 60 degree triangle and took that up the cliff face not too far to here and didn't as a uh, as an offshoot of what I usually do didn't connect this block that I'm standing on specifically to this block I just walked into the area and found the middle of where I actually wanted to start with the hexagon and I started counting blocks to the outside and setting things up these archers I have inside and they are watching the sole door that leads this way now you can walk up that incline but you can't walk up this sheer rock face so it's fairly secure and the only way to get to the property you can't get around that way you can't get around that way you'll fall off the wall but you could come in this door if you want so to keep my uh, archers and whatnot from shooting my neighbors if somebody really is def desperate to get in the property uh, they're going to be met with a couple of guards and a couple of archers uh, inside but I uh, haven't got to actually capture, capturing somebody yet. So this is what I did with this particular building is I wanted to um, chase down an idea I had for putting a basement in things and I've seen other guys do this and they did it pretty well. Because I went down one floor, threw down some foundations right on top of the dirt. I've got a first person. And I have one single floor high ceiling and I, I don't know how people do this this just makes me claustrophobic which is fine for a basement but not anything else and here's what I did is when you get to building in uh, hexagons you'll notice that you come out from the original hexagon which is right there and you go one square one triangle when you come out to the second row it is uh, one square and three triangles and if you build off this you can build another hexagon here so I expanded on that idea and I said what if I put not only a fireplace in which you saw in the first building I put up a little square corner fireplace and what if I made like a big hexagon fireplace and actually put you know put a put an entrance to it put a uh, a gate on it at each floor you know then you get to go do like this and you know these bonfires are, are massively lit you get to the point where there's so much light around the place that it's actually overexposed and hard to look at. So that that's what that's happening at, at the risk of actually burning myself all. I've got half a floor there, which, you know, would catch fire, but this is a game. And I just looked at it and said, well, this is either a secure location or a jail cell, you know, a dungeon, whatever. I was originally going to put the fireplace here in the middle, make a fire pit and run it all the way up, but I didn't want that going through the rest of my building. So here is the same fire pit going up against the second floor with the vent going all the way up and I block the entrances and my guards are reacting to the hyenas outside so up to the next floor and I've got another fireplace and if you notice, I don't have any lighting on the inside of this place yet. But those bonfires throw off a ton of light. A ton. So this is what I've got going is you come up here from the from the other end of the property, which looks pretty nice, especially at night, put the torches up here. Come in here, I'll put some furniture in here, make this a bit of a living area, or maybe just a a place for my guards. This is a closet. maybe another bathroom <laughs> if you want to stretch your imagination this leads outside that's what the outside of the building looks like and there's that chimney that goes all the way up past the roof and I have everything but the top floor actually burning and there's a lot of light coming off that thing So if we go up towards the top, again, the, uh, the stairs are stacked on top of each other, made use of the space underneath the stairs as storage if you want to do it that way. When I get to my top floor, I leave it open, leave the hexagons in the middle, 
Okay, so we got... Let's turn that fireplace on, too. All the fireplaces are going. And we can go up to the top. And this one I didn't see the need to put a fireplace entrance on. It'll be plenty hot up here. And roof just for shade this time around. I didn't continue the walkway. Figured I was up plenty high at this point. I didn't need to go up one more level. May end up building up there. And those are some of the plants that you actually get to harvest for, I think, some of the dyes. But I'm kind of concerned that if I build up there, those won't spawn anymore. So, not in a real rush to do that. But, you can see where we're located here. And what I've done with the place. So, I hope, uh, you know, I've given you a couple ideas. Just looking at things. And, uh... Hope you get in a game and, and do some inspiring stuff and do some interesting builds for yourself uh, and hope I gave you a couple ideas. This is K9. I thank you for joining me and if you enjoyed the information and the ideas that I showed you, uh, please uh, give us a like on this video and, so that other people will see it as it comes up. The more likes you have, the more it comes up on some, somebody's suggested list. And if you like the information I give you um, in these videos, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel so that uh, I can do some other things, some more powerful things with the information I'm presenting. Thanks for joining me. This is K9 playing Conan Exiles, and I'm out of here.